Hello, welcome to my channel. In today's lessons, we are going to learn about five insect species. That is Amata Phagia, Black, Great Black Wasps, Praying Mantis, Ladybird Beetle, and Steel Blue Lady Beetle. So we begin with Amata Phagia. They are commonly known as the Jesse Tiger Moth or the Jesse Tiger and are strikingly beautiful moth species found in Europe and part of Asia. Adult Jesse Tiger moth are known for their vibrant and distinctive appearance. They have black wings with bold white and orange markings. These markings can vary slightly among individuals, but generally include two white spots on the four wings and a white crescent-shaped band on the hand ring. The wingspan of Amata phagia typically ranges from 45 to 60 millimeters. Jesse tiger moth are often found in a variety of habitats including gardens, woodlands, meadows and urban areas. They prefer areas with nectar-rich flowers as they feed on nectar as adults. Their life cycle consists of four stages egg, larva, that's the caterpillar stage, pupa, and adult. Adult moths typically emerge in the summer months, usually from June to September, depending on their location. Males are first to emerge, then followed by the females with an is followed by the females and are generally inseminated a few hours after their emergence. Female sex attractants are probably related to the Anna papillae, which are rhythmically displayed by the virgin females. Several males generally attempt to meet a single virgin female. Amata phagia males isolated with con specific female virgins are strongly attracted and approach the partner with a characteristic zigzag flight. When the male touches the female, she stops flying and the male lands on her. He repeatedly touches the coastal area of her anterior wings with his antennae. The female keeps her wings spread, raises her abdomen and raises her abdomen, then copulation takes place. The caterpillar of Jesse Tiger moth are black with yellow or orange strips and feed on various plants including nettles. Jesse tiger moths are primarily nocturnal and are most active during the day during the night. They are known for their strong flight and they are attracted to artificial light, making them relatively easy to spot at night. Black wasps, also known as catidate hunter, are speechy. Tread wasted wasps in the other Hymenoptera. With their sleek black bodies and impressive flying abilities, black wasps are known for their solitary nature. Since they prefer solitude, you will not find a large colony or crowded hives. Despite their intimidating appearance, these insects are not aggressive toward humans and play an essential role in pollination and pest control in the ecosystem. The great black wasps has a deep black body and wings with an iridescent blue sheen. These wasps have long segmented antennae, large compound eyes, strong chewing mandibles, tiny pinch waist, and a stinger deep abdomen. Great black wasps female wield a, sting a stinger for paralyzing prey and are more significant than males. Their bodies are covered in fine hairs that collect pollen during their trip to the garden. These species are also known as Spheres pensley vanicus, and they are digger wasps approximately 20 to 30 mil millimeter long. Like other digger wasps, the female great black wasps build underground nests. These wasps are solitary species with no hive or workers, so the female wasps will dig around a foot beneath the soil and create tunnels using her spiny legs and mouth. Each 
cavity is assigned an egg and a paralyzed prey, mostly grasshopper, cricket, catidids, caterpillar, and others, to go with it. So as soon as the eggs hatch, they will have a meal to feed off as they develop. These larvae develop into pupae near the end of the fall in their burrows until the summer when prey and nectar are plenty. Once these larv larva warps turn to mature adults, male adult warps leave the nest to mate and mated females start their nest to lay eggs. Once the eggs hatch, the grub-like larva is fed grasshopper and catidids by the mother warps. The praying mantis are carnivorous insects eating mainly insects and other small animals. These insects get their name because they have very long front legs that they hold in a position that reminds people of praying. Many gardeners and farmers welcome mantis because the insects they eat are often pests that hurt crops. In addition to insects such as cricket and grasshoppers, mantis eat spiders, frogs, lizards, and even small birds. Prey mantis are typically green or brown, which help them blend into their surroundings, but some species can be various colors like pink, white, or even black. They have elongated bodies with a triangular head that can turn 180 degrees, giving them excellent vision and the appearance of praying when their front legs are held together. Adult mantis have two pairs of wings, but not all mantis species can fly. Their front wings, known as tegmina, are narrow and hardened to protect the delicate hind wings. Prey mantis are found on every continent except Antarctica. They are, not di they are most diverse in tropical and subtropical regions. They inhibit a wide range of ecosystems, including gardens, grassland, forests, and even urban areas. Prey mantis are carnivorous insects and are skilled hunters. They are known for their unique hunting behavior, where they sit motionless and wait for prey to come within striking distance. When they spot prey, they use their powerful front legs to, snitch, to snatch it with a lightning fast speed. They are capable of capturing a variety of insects, including flies, moth, cricket, and even other mantis. Prey mantis go through a simple metamorphic life cycle consisting of three stages egg, nymph, and adult. The egg, the female mantis lays egg in a protective casing called an ortica, which can contain hundreds of eggs. These casings are often attached to plant or structures. The nymphs hatch from the egg and resemble miniature adults. They go through several moods, growing larger and developing wings with each mood. After several moods, the nymph becomes sexually matured adult. Prey mantis reproduction is well known for sexual cannibalism, where the female sometimes eats the male after mating. This behavior is not universal among all species, but is observed in some. The male typically approaches the female cautious, cautiously, and if he is not eating, they engage in copulation. Prey mantis. Ladybird beetle, or ladybug, sometimes called lady beetle, are commonly found in gardens and in fields. They are fascinating creatures with an interesting biology. Ladybug belongs to the family Coccinellidae, and there are thousands of species worldwide. They are part of the other Coleoptera, which includes all beetles. Ladybug are typically small, hemispherical insects with a rounded convex body. They are usually brightly colored often with red or orange elytra, <coughs> elytra that is wind cover, adorned with black spots, although the exact coloration and spot patterns can vary among different species. Ladybugs are beneficial insects for gardeners and farmers because 
they primarily feed on aphids, mealybug, and other soft body pests that can harm plants. They are considered natural predators of this pest. The female ladybugs lay clusters of tiny elongated eggs on the underside of leaves near colonies of aphids or other prey insects. Ladybug larvae emerge from the egg and resemble tiny alligator-like creature. They have voracious appetite and feed on aphids and other small insects. After the larva stage, ladybug enter the pupa stage during which they undergo metamorphosis. Adult ladybug emerge from the pupa stage. They are sexually matured and continue to feed on aphids and other soft-bodied insects. Ladybugs have several defense mechanisms to deter predators. They can secrete a foul-smelling yellowish fluid from their leg joint, which can deter some potential threats. Additionally, their bright colored and contrasting spots serve as warning signals to potential predators, indicating that they may be toxic or distasteful. In colder regions, ladybug hibernate during the winter months. They often congregate in large numbers in sheltered locations such as under leaves, tree bark, or within human-made structures. Ladybug are considered beneficial insects in agriculture and gardening because they help control pest populations. Farmers and gardeners sometimes release ladybugs into their field or garden as a natural form of pest control. Ladybugs reproduce through sexual reproduction. Mating typically occurs in the spring and females lay eggs shortly afterwards. Ladybugs are generally welcomed by gardeners and farmers for their role in pest control and their unique appearance make them popular insects to observe and study. Different species of ladybug may have slightly vary, varying life cycles and habitat, but the basic biology and ecological role of ladybugs are similar across most species. The steel blue lady beetle, scientifically known as Hamos chalibus, is a species of lady beetle that belongs to the family Cosnelidae. These beetles are commonly found in various parts of the world, including Australia, New Zealand, and some part of the Pacific Island. Steel blue lady beetles are small, oval-shaped insects with a distinct metallic blue-green coloration. They typically measures around 4 to 6 millimeters in length. The shiny appearance of their exoskeleton is one of their distinguished features. Like most lady beetles, steel blue lady beetles are beneficial insects in agriculture and gardens because they are predators of aphids and other soft-bodied insects. They primarily feed on aphids, scale insects, and mealybugs. They are Voracious appetite for these pests make them vulnerable for natural pests. Sea blue lady beetles undergo complete metamorphosis, which includes four life stages egg, larva, pupae, and adult. The eggs are usually laid near a fish colony to pro provide an immediate food source for the hatching larva. Larva resemble tiny alligator with segmented bodies and are also voracious predators. After several larva stages, they, they pupate and emerge as adults. These lady beetles are commonly found in a variety of habitats, including gardens, agricultural fields, grassland, and urban areas. They can be particularly abundant in regions with temperate climates. Still, blue lady beetles are known for their gregarious behavior often forming large aggregation on plants and trees, especially when aphids populations are high. This behavior allows them to efficiently hunt and consume aphids in large numbers. Like many lady beetles, steel blue lady beetles can secrete toxic or foul tasting compound as a defense mechanism against predators. When threatened, they may release this substance from their leg joint. During the winter months, steel Blue lady beetles often seek shelter in protected areas such as crack in tree bark 
leaf litter or other suitable locations. This helps them survive harsh environmental conditions. The reproductive behavior of steel blue lady beetles involves male and female mating. After mating, female lay clusters of eggs near a fish colony and ensure a readily available food source for their developing larva. Steel blue lady beetles play a valuable role in biological pest control, helping to keep population of aphids and other soft body insects in check. As such, they are considered beneficial insects for agriculture and gardening. Their striking metallic appearance also makes them an interesting and attractive insect species to observe in their natural habitat. The steel blue lady beetles, scientifically known as Hamos chalibus, is a species of lady beetle that belongs to the family Coccinellidae. These beetles are commonly found in various parts of the world, including Australia, New Zealand, and some parts of the Pacific Island. The adult lady beetle is metallic dark blue, green or purple, and about three to four millimeters long. Female are uniformly uniformly dark. Males have orange or yellow on the head and outer margins of the pronotum. Adults are around when adults are around when viewed from above and dope shape converse when viewed from the side. They have a distinct outward flare on the bottom margins of their wings cover. <laughs>